Hey guys, Wong here, and today we are diving into a very small but popular state park. This is Watkins Glen State Park in upstate New York. If you are visiting the Finger Lakes in upstate New York and you love hiking and waterfalls, then this is a must-see place on your trip. This park is often featured a lot in social media and it has a lot of waterfalls, but one really stands out above the rest and this picture shows up all over Instagram. It is Rainbow Falls. Right now, we are at Rainbow Falls. Look at this. This is that iconic view that you always see when you look up Walton Glen State Park. The waterfall itself is about 45 minutes from the parking lot depending on how fast you walk. The Gorge Trail is the main trail that will take you past many of the waterfalls leading up to Rainbow Falls and it is a moderate trail as it has a lot of steps, inclines, and can be quite slippery due to the proximity of the waterfalls and the trail. If you are unable to hike all the way up or simply don't want to, there is a shuttle bus that can take you to the top of the trail where you can descend on a very short hike to view Rainbow Falls. There are plenty of spots to stop and take pictures along the trail, which takes you near and sometimes under waterfalls, such as in the case of Cavern Cascade Falls. The trail goes directly behind the falls and is close enough for you to reach out and touch the waterfall. About three fourths of the way into the trail is when you will get to Rainbow Falls. The view here is absolutely stunning and the trail continues to wind its way underneath a shelf where water is dripping down and you can touch the water there. It actually looks really cool, but continue walking along the trail and it'll take you to the bridge that passes over Rainbow Falls. Again, this area of the trail especially can be very slippery because there's a lot of water on the rock so do be very careful. There are plenty of ways of capturing unique shots here and if you have a cell phone then try using your widest angle lens or using the panorama mode to capture the whole scene. Make sure you try panoramas both vertically and horizontally. If you have a DSLR or mirrorless camera then make sure you pack the widest angle lens you have. I would suggest somewhere between 18 and 28 millimeters to really be able to capture the whole falls in one shot. If you have ND filters you're going to want to bring those along to take those long exposure shots because Man, those shots are stunning. The rest of the trail is beautiful in its own way and the landscape here is quite unique and I would suggest making a trip out to this beautiful spot. That's it for this quick guide on Watkins Glen State Park. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any comments or suggestions for places in the Finger Lakes area that are really picturesque, I would love to hear that in the comments section down below and I will see you guys in the next one.